times are tough, inputs are high. People are not willing to just spend money. I get that, I'm in business too. I'm just very passionate about how are we moving the needle in the soil and in the pocketbook. My name is Trevor, owner and uh, founder of Riogen. Rhizogreen is not magic. It feeds the microbes in the soil. They then serve to unlock nutrients, make them plant available, and guess what? We get more production per acre, which equals more profit per acre. We're here in the Bitter Valley, just west of Stevensville, Montana. On this side, we've got a treated meadow that was treated with Rhizogreen foliarly 45 days ago. On this side, we've got the untreated, and we're using the NRCS method of throwing the 12 by 12 square and we do it three times and three times and do a clipping and then we'll weigh treated versus control and see what difference we've got. Visually, it doesn't look like a whole lot different. So let's uh, see where this comes out at. So the untreated samples came to 216 grams. Now add our riser green treated sample, 334 grams, 54.6% increase in tonnage. Last year on this exact field, on our first cutting, we cut 2.4 tons the acre. We could extrapolate that further for the whole season, but for the point of this math, let's just do it on one cutting. What do you value your hay at? Uh, 250 a ton. Times 2.4 ton to the acre. So we've got value before riser green of $600 per acre. Now when you increase the tonnage or the production capacity of every acre, by 54.6%. Then we take that $600 times 54.6%. That leaves us with a profit per acre before riser green cost of $327.60. Now out of that, I'm gonna subtract sort of an average number for riser green 2850 and it leaves us with a net profit per acre of $299.10. How does that make you feel, Rick? Well, I think you could extrapolate it even further because to get to the 2.4, I had input cost of over $100 an acre in fertilizer. In fertilizer, so we didn't even so count that we, in. We're gonna save uh, approximately $60 an acre in fertilizer and you know, increase our yield. So I add 60 onto that 299.10, and I get a total of $359.10 increased net profit per acre for this operation. This is predictive data. We're gonna follow this right through until we've got that actual data from once he cuts his hay. Isn't it exciting? Yeah. <laughs> when you start looking at numbers like this, increased profit per acre, it's not just a, a financial term. This is good for families, ranching families. It's good for bringing the next generation in. It's good for communities. It's good for rural America. I feel a, a actually a really great sense of the of relief. You know, um, the wondering about whether or not it was going to work, and whether you make the right decision to cut your input cost, and hoping you're going to gain the same yields. Uh, it's, it's pretty darn exciting knowing that uh, you know we went from zero fertilizer to only rise the green and where we've applied the rise of green is a 54.6 percent increase in yield we need to get more out of the cattle we have we need to get more tonnage out of the acreage we have with less inputs into them and that's what we're really once again, the proof will be in the final cut, but it looks really promising with what we've tested here today.